Hello, my name is Andrew Darlow. I'm a photographer and an educator, and I recently helped to develop a line of premium bubble bags called Gallery Pouch Gold. Uh, essentially, the reason why is because I was working on a project for a client. I had done the printing for her, and there were about 10 pieces about this size, 40 by 40 canvas, stretched on two inch wide stretcher bars, and then I had to protect all those pieces to be shipped in her, in her SUV, actually. I didn't know exactly the best way, so I kind of went with what I knew, which was bubble material and tape, which was kind of scary because whenever you start wrapping tape around artwork, uh, it can always be a little dicey. You have to be really careful. So about six months later, I was working on a project of my own. This is one of the pieces. And uh, I asked my friend Mark Rogers from Frame Destination if he could make custom-made bubble bags. And he said, uh, maybe I can try. So he did that. And this is like one of our very first attempts, which was actually pretty good. I mean, the seals are not good, but it was not bad, and it protected my work. It's just 3 16th bubble, but every time I, I even move and touch something, it, it starts to make that familiar bubble wrap sound, and uh, I've been popping this all day, and uh, essentially it's, it's not a good thing. It does a decent job, but it's not that good. So I wanted something much better. So I helped to develop Gallery Patch Gold, which is over here. This is a 44 by 70 inch Gallery Patch Gold with Velcro. And this gives you a sense of the quality of the material. It's much thicker than this one. This one doesn't even stand up under its own weight. And this one is far, far stronger. It has double lamination with 3 16 inch bubble. And uh, it's very smooth. So it really should not cause any problems to your artwork. So I'll just show you a couple of the items which we use with the gallery pouch bag, which you can see here. This is very typical. It's just a framed print. And uh, it sits in there really nicely. You can really feel the difference compared to a product like this when you just touch it, put your hand across it like that and uh, essentially it stands up by itself which you can see like this unlike almost every other bubble product on the market so I'll just show you a few other items then we have a, a bunch of videos which can really help you to find out more here's an example of a nice little brass plate so you can put collectibles and all kinds of things in there and as you'll see in some of the videos all you have to do is take away this release strip and then find the exact spot at which you'd like to close the bag and then you have a reclosable bag. Or you can purchase them what we call gallery pouch with flap which is essentially the gallery pouch without the velcro closure right here. So in this case I've put a monopod in there which worked out well and then I just closed it to size like that and in this case I could put anything else in there like a piece of rolled canvas is perfect. I delivered all my canvases when I um, had them wrapped for this project in gallery pouches. And in this case, again, this can just fold over and close. I'd recommend you use a, a core if you're going to wrap a canvas, but it's a perfect material for that. And also, uh, here's an example of the gallery pouch with flap and without the Velcro. So there's a whole lot more information. We can even make them tiny like this, just four by four inches, in case you have something for that. And you can check them out at gallerypouch.com or framedestination.com. I'm Andrew Darla. Thanks. Bye-bye.